Most of the displays these days come heavily styled with intense color profiles and super bright screens. They're done that way so that the consumer likes the way they look. Colors are vibrant, high contrast, and displays really bright, making it seem super sharp. While this is pretty good for the general public and most uses, it is not ideal for creative professionals who are working with photos and video and need to make sure that all of their final products are accurate and look correct. So if that is you and you are in the market for making sure your display looks as good as possible, as realistic as it possibly can, you're going to need a hardware calibrator and that's where the X-Rite i1 Display Pro comes in. This is a tiny little device that goes over the screen and it will measure every single color that it outputs and it will then create an ICC profile that you can apply to your monitor and make sure that all the colors are accurate. The software that runs is iProfiler and you can either go on basic or advanced mode. I prefer advanced because you can actually pick how many colors it actually shows and the more colors does take longer but it does yield a better result in my testing. If you have no clue what colors are, um, what any of this stuff is, you can just go in basic mode and leave all the settings as it is. But for my settings, I am using D65 as my white point, as you should if you're working with photo or video. And I set my brightness to about 100. I could also do 80, but it's really just to make sure that brightness is how you want it, but it's not going to directly affect the color as much. So like I said, you have to actually hang the device over your screen as a built-in counterweight, which you can extend away or closer to the unit itself to help it balance properly on the screen. The device does swivel around so it can actually measure your ambient light so you can get an idea of how bright it is in your room and it can use that information to better calibrate your monitor, but you kind of do have to keep it plugged in all the time for it to automatically update your profile. So I just didn't really use that feature. The device does swivel around so we can um, open up the sensor and we can put that on the screen. It is padded so it's not going to scratch your screen at all so that's nice. So to use this all we have to do is plug into the USB port on our computer. We can open up the software and start the calibration. You can either pick whether it automatically takes over your display if you're using a built-in one or an Apple display or you can manually do that and manually adjust the brightness as well as the RGB values on your monitor. And it can tell you what you need to raise and lower to get a pretty good baseline. And then from there, it will continue and make a profile. After you do those manual adjustments or it runs through that automatically, it will then begin flashing colors. It will mark every single color. And then at the end, we can create a profile and we can view the before and after of the results. For me, I feel like this device is a little bit hit or miss. Some displays it works awesome on and I think it looks good. Others, the whites don't quite look white and the blacks don't look black. It could just be the um, monitor that I'm using or just the way I'm sitting because my monitor that I'm using is not IPS and it does seem to have the most problems with this new calibration. For me, it's also kind of hard to get these monitors to look about right. Um, they both don't look the same, which is a little bit hard when you're working with video. You kind of want all your monitors to look exactly the same, and I've never been able to get any of them to really look exactly the same. So maybe this is more of a device for just calibrating your individual monitor and not necessarily matching them. Theoretically, they should match, but they don't. x recommends that you recalibrate your monitor every month, but I don't really feel like that's quite necessary as long as you don't notice any significant changes in color. And for that reason, I did not actually buy this. And I don't think you should either. It's $220, which is a ton of money for a device that only measures brightness and colors on your screen. I was able to rent one from a local camera store for $20 per day, which is a pretty good deal. And I was able to calibrate every single monitor. And if I'm coming up on a big project or I feel like my monitors just aren't looking right, I can rent that again and I'm not out $220. So should you pick this up? Well, if you are going to be using them all the time, it could be worth it. I feel like it is actually pretty accurate. And when I did multiple tests on a single monitor, it yielded the same results every single time. So I know that the reading it gets is accurate. However, is it worth picking up? And are you going to be using it all the time? If not, then you could just rent it. I think that would be a pretty good option. And that is what I'm doing for myself. 
But there you go. That's all for this video. I hope this helped you out. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark with Iowa Tech 128, and I'll see you in the next one.